Hi everyone, I have a few minutes before I have to go to work, so I thought I'd do a really quick Mac haul. Um, the other day, I was at a Mac store. Um, living in Chicago, I'm very blessed. I actually have at least three actual Mac stores within a few minutes of me, as well as a bunch of different counters at like Nordstrom's and uh, Macy's, things like that. So I'm really spoiled. But I was able to pick up a couple products. Um, just wanted to quickly go through them, what I think of them, first impressions. Some of them I've actually had before, so it's not very new, but it's it's a repurchase that I really want to tell you about. So the first product that is actually new to me is the Studio Fix Plus. The reason I got this is because Jess, Lola Marie 7, reviewed this product and she said she really, really liked it. So what I've been doing is I just do a few spritzes once I'm completely done with my makeup. Um, and then I stipple it on with actually this brush, which is just a MAC Hello Kitty collection stippling brush. So it really works well to set your makeup. Um, it also gives you kind of a fresh face. I don't know if sometimes after you use a lot of mascara and a lot of foundation, it can get a little bit cakey. But this kind of just refreshes it and makes your face feel really, really nice. So definitely loving this product so far. The second product that I bought was the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. So prior to buying this foundation, I was actually using Bare Minerals. And where I, I like Bare Minerals a lot, but it definitely wasn't giving me the coverage that I really need since it's the winter and I'm really pale and I just I wasn't really feeling the, the Bare Minerals anymore. I actually use my Bare Minerals foundation to set my makeup after I'm done, so I still am using the product, but I love this stuff. I mean, my face feels flawless. I really, really like it, so I would recommend it. Again, I'm NW20, so I'm really, really pale right now, but once I get into the summer and the spring, my, my color shade will go up a little bit. The next product that I got is the Painterly Paint Pot. Now this is great, and this is something that Cam, Miss Glamorazzi, talks about all the time, her paint pots. Um, this one, I, I mean, I love. I have it on right now underneath my makeup, and it just creates this basic canvas for any colors that you're trying to use. It is seriously the nicest color. It totally matches my skin. It just, I couldn't say enough good things about this stuff. It's its great. Um, I'm planning on getting a couple more paint pots in like Rubenesque and some of the other popular colors. So I'll let you know what I think of the other ones. The last product that I got is the Black Track Gel Liner. I, this is like my third or fourth one. So I definitely really, really love this stuff. Fluid Line is great. If you haven't used it before, I would really recommend it. Even for someone who's not very familiar with using like a gel eyeliner, it stays on all day, which is a great perk. And it's just the greatest colors. I have it in the brown and then the purple too. And it's just, it's the greatest color. I love it. I actually took um, my a little brush and I put print and I covered over the gel liner so it just kind of creates a little bit more of a matte look but I really really like this stuff so if you are in the market for a new liner definitely recommend this stuff so that's all I have for my quick haul today um, gotta get to work but if you have any comments please please leave them below um, I really appreciate your support everyone has been so great to me and I'm totally loving this YouTube thing also I got a Twitter it is E-B-E-E-228, E-B-228. Um, definitely add me or follow me, whatever it's called. I don't really know the lingo. But yeah, have a great day. Again, thank you so much, Cam, Miss Glamorazzi, for all of her support. She's really been helpful. Everyone else, I really love you guys. Thank you. Bye.